the settings cog in the bottom right hand corner of the window okay so understanding the tool so we're building a tool here today which when you enter a buy trade when the price crosses a trend line from below so we're going to enter a buy trade when the price crosses a trend line from below so you're going to this tool is going to be useful if you put trend lines on a chart so if you're trading with a trend line and you don't want to sit there and wait for the trend so the price to cross the trend line and then enter the trade and set your trade up and put a stop loss and put a price take profit then this is the perfect tool so it's also going to help we're going to do it for sell trades as well um, and we're only going to look for buy trades or only look for sell trades okay so basically you're going to control how this EA operates and you're only going to open trades within a specific time frame okay so let's just jump onto a chart and have a look at how that looks so basically if we draw a, a little trend line here and actually i do remember ah oh, it's a different chart i know one of my guys had feedback that the chart was not very easy to read because of the black on white but anyway we're going to go with that today because i've changed the platform slightly from the last one I've, my template isn't here um so what we're going to say here is like say for example okay let's take the end of this uh this here all right so the price is about to break this trend line it's not the best trend line ever but let's just say it's about to break this trend line here and what we want to be able to make sure is that we want to give ourselves enough control so that we can uh we don't have things happening without our control basically so for example we only really want to focus on this area here so as soon as for example one two three whatever hours pass or minutes or whatever it is maybe then if the price doesn't break the trend line at that point we don't actually want it to take the trade because the setups disappeared so we might actually restrict it from um from a time perspective so we'll do that as well um, if it does cross the trend line we're going to say that if the trend line's here and it crosses Actually, maybe we'll let's zoom in a bit. The trend line's here, and it crosses at this this point here. We're going to look for the low here. Sorry, the open here of this bar. As soon as that crosses, we're going to be able to say either the open of that bar um, was below the trend line in this case, and then the uh, the high of the bar was was above the trend line and because of that we're going to enter a buy trade okay and we're either going to do that on this candle here so as soon as the high which would the candle would open here it would go up and it would let's just see if we can uh oh no, it's not going to work it's not going to work um sorry uh i was going to try and draw something on the chart here but my little tool's not working at the moment um so the candle goes up breaks the trend line we're going to enter the trade exactly at this point that it breaks we're also going to make it configurable configurable enough to say we want this candle here to be the sort of trigger candle um so it's if this the open of this candle is below um and then the uh close of that candle is above actually no sorry forget that forget that but that we're not going to do that we'll, you'll see what i'm going to do in a minute okay um so hopefully that sort of gives you an idea basically if the price is going to cross over the trend line here we're going to enter a buy if the price is going to come from below so if we zoom out a bit here and move this around so if we've got a different trend line and we're waiting for the price to break a trend line here and the price let's go over here a bit so the price breaks the trend line here we're going to enter that trade here and as soon as it enters it will have pre-configured stop loss pre-configured take profit targets that we have set so we don't need to go in and then modify the trade once you know or a take the trade b modify the trade um, and put on put in those take profit and stop losses okay it's, it's going to happen as soon as it crosses that trend line okay so let's dive back now that we sort of understand how this is going to work ah uh, can't see the chart i've just realized that and i've just looked at the comments okay you live and you learn eh? you live and you learn you can't see the chart because i'm only showing the screen <laughs> i'm only showing and this is where it's going to get blurry 
this is why when you do them often they tend to uh they tend to run a bit more smoother okay you should be able to see the chart now please let me know if you can't see the chart everyone should be able to see the chart now okay i'm not seeing anyone um, saying they can't see it but i'm pretty sure you can see it got the chart now okay right you should have everything now because we're sharing the entire screen and this is apparently where it goes a bit blurry hopefully it sticks with and doesn't go blurry if it does please just chuck it in the chat box so i can know if it's going blurry or not right so what we're looking at is we're going to draw a trend line on the chart like so so i've drawn this trend line by hand and when the price crosses the trend line from above we're going to enter a sell trade and we're going to set the take profit and stop loss of that sell trade before as the trade is placed okay so the the, the benefit of this tool is you don't need to be once you've set the uh, trend line up you don't need to be here to monitor the trade being entered you don't need to be here to monitor the take profit or stop loss it will only place one trade as well and you can set a timer so that um, so that if that trade closes and the price retraces back over the trend line and then crosses back again that it won't enter the trade again okay so if you say for example want to enter the trade here um let's grab this so for example you enter the trade on this candle here you might put a time limit of you know this this in it and say i only want my trades to be entered um, within this time frame and then i'm going to turn the whole ea off and it's not going to do anything else so you know if the price was going to retrace back up and over the uh, the trend line and back down again to enter another trade, you're not going to be affected by that. So it's not going to enter another trade. Okay. Um, and then the opposite applies for buy trades as well. So if you have a buy trade, um, sorry, if the trend line is in the opposite direction, let's just zoom out here a bit. And we've got a trend line facing downwards and you're looking to enter a buy trade then once again once this trade is sorry once the price crosses the trend line here then we're going to enter that buy trade here whoops we're going to enter that buy trade and it's going to go up hopefully um, and once again you can set the time frame as well so that you don't have funny things happening Okay, so we're going to sort of create this tool that hopefully gives you guys a lot of flexibility or enough flexibility to use it to uh, whoop, phone uh, a lot of, a lot of enough flexibility to use it um, on your own charts and in your own trading. Okay, so it looks like there is a bit of a blurry screen going on there. So as I said, YouTube link down the bottom. Um, jump into 